morning everyone this is Richard here again at the car barn today I'm driving in a 2000 this is the 2014 Volkswagen Jetta this is the TDI this is a sedan so four-door diesel leather loaded awesome car I drove this to uh, if you're familiar with the area drove it down to Mesquite last week to do some paperwork. Uh, just amazing freeway road car, smooth, quiet, about 40 miles to the gallon. Uh, just one of the most awesome commuter type cars if you're looking for something like that. And uh, if you're not familiar with our videos, the reason we do hear videos of the car barn cars is so that you're able to get the transparency of knowing what we know about a vehicle. Uh, there's nothing worse than going to a, a dealership uh, not bad mouthing them, but a lot of times people will go to a dealership based on some photos that they saw or maybe somebody they've talked to on the phone. And when they get there, the vehicle is just not what they really expected. Uh, maybe it's not intentional, but it's a little bit of a disappointment. So we want to be totally transparent with our vehicles, the way they drive, the way they look, uh, anything that we uh, find that's our features, benefits, as well as the flaws on a vehicle. So if you're coming from out of town, out of state, you can have the confidence that you're going to know about these vehicles the same way we do. So I've been driving around for a while at this, and like I said, I've driven it before. Super smooth. Uh, it's just, it's got a nice stereo, nice sound. It's just a good driving vehicle if you're wanting to go on the road, but also very, very comfortable seating arrangements. It's got a power seat. Um, but we're going to stop up here and take a look at the inside of it, the outside point out some of the features the benefits of this car as well as any little flaws that we might find so like I said that you're gonna know uh, as much about it as we do and uh, then kind of go from there so anyway we're gonna pull over just right up here a little bit out of the way and uh, get started on that real quick for those of you who are needing financing, we've got some really good programs with a lot of the credit unions. Whether you're out of town, out of state or not, we can still help you out there. And real quick, I'm gonna flip the camera around before I turn the car off. Point out a few things again, 2014, 139 on the miles. Do not let that scare you. These motors will go a long ways. I've seen them with three, 400,000 miles on them quite often. Um, so anyway, we're gonna shut it off and uh, point out of some things and then we're gonna hop out and look at the rest of the vehicle. So it does have a keyless entry key fob, security system, really nice setup here at the stereo, uh, you know, CD player and uh, just a good sound quality. On the steering wheel, you do have your controls for your stereo as well as the uh, mute button if you're gonna be on the phone, anything like that. And then off to the left side, you've got your cruise control, and really easy to work with there. Uh, down below, your, your controls for your heat, air conditioning, as well as power seats on, or excuse me, uh, heated seats on both sides. And we're gonna jump out and take a look at this. Now you're seeing this vehicle after it's gone through our service department. We've done the inspections, the servicing, anything that needed fixed, replaced, we do all that. Then we're gonna go back and detail them. So you're actually seeing this car a little bit dirty, which we're fine with. We want you to know what we're seeing. It's still gonna go back in and get a detail now, but the mechanical parts of it are what's important to us. So. Anyway, I'm going to point out real quick on the door panel here. It does have power windows, power door locks. You've got the power mirrors and uh, just a nice little setup. There's for your trunk button there. Seats. I'm going to point out one thing on the driver's seat. It is a power seat this way and then a manual height adjustment. It does have some wear on the, this is a vinyl strip here on the edge that can be repaired, but most likely it's better just to replace typically what we do. The rest of it in really, really good shape. No uh, scuffs, no tears. This is a non-smoker vehicle. The dash is nice and clean. Uh, no cracks, no scratches, nothing warped or anything from the heat. The headliner is nice and in good shape. It could use a little bit of a cleaning, but it's in good condition. I'm going to take a look in the back, and then we're going to come around to the outside a little closer. Back door panel's in good shape. 
and the seats are in good condition. Center armrest. The backs of the seats are in really good shape. Doesn't look like the back was really used at all um, for anything. I will point out also this car has a really good window tent. If you're from the southern Utah area, you know we get some really high temperatures in the hundreds. So it's kind of nice to have a tent on there. And uh, again, it is the TDI diesel. Most people are averaging around 40 miles to the gallon or so with these. You can do better than that depending on how you drive. Going around this side. Looks like it's in pretty good shape there. Got a minor, minor little, uh, I'll call it a blemish in the vinyl there, but it might be uh, replaceable, repairable. It's not really that noticeable even, but we do like to point them out. Again, we want you to know everything we see. I don't have any uh, reasons to hide anything. Uh, if we're going to notice it, I'm going to probably feel like an idiot if you see it and we didn't. Okay, So we want that to be our way of doing things here. Um, in the front seat, it's pretty good there. And... Uh, Passenger side seats in good shape. They get power on this seat too. Carpets are in good shape. Okay, let's take a look at the outside. The car is black, so it is a, uh, it is dirty at the moment. As well as, uh, I'm gonna take a look. Uh, these are some little uh, paint chips. Uh, I'm certain that could be something that's touched up if you, you know, decide that that's a. Uh, important thing for you. Some people are not too worried about the cosmetics, but that's okay either way. Overall, in pretty good shape. We're going to come back and take a look at it a little closer too, but I want to give you an overall view real quick. And then come back in this way. I'm seeing one uh, door ding right in here. And indeed, tiny, tiny, tiny one right there. Not too bad. Glass is all in good shape. All the windows, doors work. The air blows nice and cold. Heater works. Heated seats work. And coming back this way, seeing one small one ding there. And that's about it. Tires are in excellent shape, matching all the way around. Again, needs a good cleanup, but runs and drives awesome. Probably one of the best little road car commuter cars I can think of. It's very, very comfortable, very roomy, great fuel economy, and price. You're talking under eight grand for a 2014, and great, great car for first time buyers with the credit unions. If you need any help with financing, you can reach us here at the Car Barn, 435 215 7362. Really easy to apply for a loan. Just go to barnloan.com, fill out the form, submit it, usually about 45 minutes an hour, sometimes less. Have it a pre-approval or an approval come down drive the car if you like it and drive out of there with it so give us a call here at the car barn we appreciate your watching our videos and hope you have an awesome day